I know it's frustrating, and you've been asked this a lot, but uh, how badly once it starts are you wishing to get out there? Uh, Sunday was probably definitely top ten. You know, maybe pushing top five hardest days of my life. You know, Achilles injury definitely going in one draft night, another one. Um, you know, just seeing the, the, the commercials and everything just kicking off. You know, you work so hard for that moment uh, to be in the playoffs and fight for a championship. And like I said earlier, you know, I really believe that, you know, with me in the lineup, this was a championship team. And like I said, I don't. it's not something that can't be done, but... You just start thinking what ifs, and you know, it was tough. And then, you know, to see the the game play out the way that it that it did, and you know, just to feel that I could have had an impact on the team, yeah, being on the court, it's tough. You seem like you're in a pretty good place, though, mentally. I mean, I know it's hard to make your peace with this at any point, but has it gotten a little bit better as you've started to be able to at least move around and get the cast off? Yeah, uh, I got the cast off, and you know, being able to put more weight on my foot um, in the boot, I've been doing a lot. You know, I mean, I, I don't think that you guys would expect anything else, but, you know, it feels better every day, feels stronger every day. Uh, kind of got to gear myself back because, you know, I'm getting anxious and excited. But, I mean, any time I get to be on the court, it, it, it blocks it out for that brief moment of the day. But, I mean, it's still tough. You knew what you meant to your teammates and to the fans of Portland and to the whole region, but sometimes it takes something like this to get reminded. Has the outpouring, has it been uh, maybe a little humbling? Yeah, I mean, I never imagined this. You know, I, I, I think I said that in my, my Instagram post, you know, that, that next morning. I never could have imagined and thought um, the impact that I could have just by doing what I love. You know, I, I just, I do what I love every single day, and it's such a blessing to be able to do that and be able to say that. And, you know, it's not gone from me, but it feels like it is. You know, I'm it's... I can't be out there. I can't be competing and fighting and scratching and, you know, getting on the floor and, you know, hitting big shots and making stops. I just – so I got to find it somewhere else, and, you know, I'm working on that. <laughs> I think uh, at game three at Moda Center, if you're out behind the bench and you get shown on the screen, I think it'll hit you maybe all over again what Blazer fans think and feel for you. I don't – I'm nervous. You know, I really am. This is I, – I, I've been more emotional – in this period of time than I have my whole life. So, you know, I don't know what that that feeling is going to be like. I don't know what, you know, just being there, you know, with any, without fans, you know, just being there and just everything that I've done. And to think, you know, to end the season out, you know, my last thing was me laying on the court, you know. And um, it, it's, it's going to be bittersweet. It'll be bittersweet.